everyone, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. And today we're going to talk about Pablo Picasso's Guernica, which I have partially right here because it's uh, just the right side that I'm finished. I'm working on the entire piece, but it's split in two, which makes it a diptych. So I did the far right corner where the three women are the main characters of this painting. And if you don't know what Guernica is about, one of the world's most famous paintings done by the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. And during the Spanish Civil War, Nazi warplanes blew over the boss city of uh, Guernica and they dropped bombs. So obviously there was mass chaos and death, destruction, which happened on April 26, 1937. After this atrocious incident happened, Pablo Picasso was commissioned to paint a painting that represented what happened that day, but it was it was more of an anti-war um, piece, something that was rejecting war. This painting was an anti-war statement, and that's what this painting did throughout the time it was shown throughout the world, because it traveled everywhere, and the message with this painting was to stand up against uh, you know, the atrocities of war. So this painting in real life is actually not in color, it's in black, white, gray, and some blues. But I decided to add color, and I think part of Picasso's ideas with it at some point were to add color. But he didn't, he left it in those tones. And here you see the three women who are horrified what's what's going on and fleeing and are asking for help. And a fun fact about this painting, it only took Pablo Picasso 35 days to finish it. So he worked non-stop and actually his, uh, his wife at the time de depicted the process through photographs. The painting in real life is actually 25.6 feet wide and 11 feet tall, so it's very monumental. I'll put the picture so you can see it. And another fun fact, the reason I'm wearing this sweater is because Pablo Picasso used to wear a lot of striped shirts in the blue and the white, so he kind of brought this into the fashion world. Andy Warhol even picked that up himself. So if um, you haven't guessed already from the rest of my videos, I'm a huge Pablo Picasso fan, and that's why I decided to do my own version of Guernica. I think it's a great, beautiful piece and I wanted to do my twist on it uh, with color. So in the comments below, please tell me what you think. Uh, once I finish the other part of this, I will do a video so you can see it. Uh, please share, subscribe, like, and comment below. Tell me what you think about Pablo Picasso's Guernica and what do you think about my version of his work. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.